Hello, I am Dr. Stephanie Shuttler, and today we are talking about money and being a wildlife biologist. I'm a wildlife biologist. I've been in this field since 2003. My channel is all about empowering scientists and inspiring you to conserve our natural world. So do wildlife biologists make good money? The answer is no. I knew this going into my career. I knew we weren't going to make or I wasn't going to make a lot of money being a wildlife biologist, but I still did it because I love it. But I have to say, I myself, knowing this, I have been surprised at um, how low paying the jobs are for people with a lot of experience. So let me talk about the investments we have to make as wildlife biologists. So when you graduate from college, um, you, it's a good idea to get experience. So I had three years where I did internships and was paid probably minimum wage at those jobs, which is actually awesome because um, a lot of jobs now don't even pay you. They expect you to volunteer and just not make money that time or work other jobs to support yourself. So I was really lucky in that I got paid. With the exception of um, one year I spent in Kenya, which was awesome, but I got paid in Kenyan salary and um, I had to pay for half of my airfare going over there. So I ended up making no money um, over the year, but I did it for the experience um, and it was an awesome experience. Then I went to graduate school and in science, we're actually really lucky in that we pay, we are paid a stipend. You're usually paid for a research assistantship or a teaching assistantship. I had a fellowship and I was in the biological sciences department and this fellowship gave us 21,000 a year. All of our tuition is waived and our health insurance was paid for. So this was a great deal. Um, Columbia, Missouri, where I went to school is a small college town and um, this was an extremely livable wage. This was a fantastic deal. But if you were a TA in the biology department or in the fisheries and wildlife department, they actually got the lowest salaries. And I believe they um, had 15,000, which was really hard to live off of. And a lot of them had to get um, secondary jobs to support themselves, which is tough because graduate school itself, getting your PhD itself is so much work. So I personally can't imagine um, working a second job doing that. But again, we are lucky that we get paid. Um, other fields, they, they don't get paid. They don't get their tuition waves and they have to pay for graduate school. Then um, once I graduated, um, as a postdoc, again, you don't make money if you're in a postdoc position. I'm getting paid here in Raleigh $40,000 a year. Um, you can get paid more, but usually you get paid more in areas where the cost of living is higher, like New York City or DC. The jobs um, post PhD that I have been most competitive for have typically paid within the $50,000 range a year. And um, this is pretty unexpected to me, honestly. And most of the jobs I've been looking for have been in Raleigh, North Carolina. Although I did just recently um, um, have a position that I was interviewed for in New York that was 50000 in not It was outside of New York City, but New York is still more expensive. And um, I expected to get paid 60000 at least getting out of um, a PhD program. And again, I've been pretty surprised. A friend of mine um, just got a job that um, multiple PhDs um, competed for, and it pays in the mid-50 range. So... I think that's honestly um, the new normal. Um, there's definitely jobs that pay more than that. Professors get paid more than that. Um, there's a position at the museum that was advertised. It's a post PhD position between 70 and um, actually up to, I think it was 120,000. So there's definitely jobs out there that, um, that pay a lot more. But usually these entry level jobs just after a PhD, I've been seeing them in the $50,000, $60,000 range. Excuse me, I have a hair. Which again is a good salary, but compared to how many years you get lost in for graduate school, um, where you're not getting paid a lot, it's not a lot to start off with. So um, 
Money is something we really have to think about in our lives. Things are becoming more and more expensive. And you really have to decide if you love this career enough to make some of those sacrifices. By contrast, my husband, um, he is an electrical engineer. When he graduated college, he got a job um, paying, I want to say, seventy or eighty thousand dollars a year. So, um, and then you get raises every year, or you get new job offers that increases your salary. Um, so. So yeah, wildlife biology does not pay that much. Um, you also need to be aware that the jobs are really competitive as well. I knew academia was competitive, but I was not prepared for the level of competition within nonprofits, um, government positions. Um, so it's really important to prepare yourself for this career. And I'm actually writing a book that will give you all the information about what I wish I knew and some of the... Um, the things that I did that I would have done differently. So if you wanna to go to fancyscientist.com to subscribe to my newsletter, you'll be the first to know when my book comes out, which will be in a few months. Back to the competitiveness. It's kind of interesting um, because I became a, a biology major as a backup degree because I wanted to be an actress. So my backup plan was to become a, a doctor, a physician doctor. But then when I discovered wildlife biology, I was like, oh my gosh, this is it. I love this career and I don't have to worry about job security like I would with acting. And ironically, um, the jobs, like I said, that we have um, available to us are really competitive. So it's a lot more like acting than I thought it would be. Subscribe if you like this video so then you won't miss any other content or advice I have to give to you. And also share it with a friend who you think might benefit from this. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.